Yo, yo, what up, my good people? It's your boy, J-Rock, back in the boom, boom, boom with another banger. You already know how I'm coming, man. Once a month, I'm back to this YouTube shit. I'm staying consistent, baby. Consistency is key. So I'm back with another banger. You know I'm not bringing y'all no average guns, no bullshit guns. We only making videos about fire shit over here at the boom, boom room, shit that y'all gonna love. So go ahead and like the video. Throw a comment down below. It's all family in here. We ain't here to flex. We ain't here to make you feel some type of way and jealous and all that shit. Nah, this is a whole family of Second Amendment enthusiasts. We're all here to help each other. We're all here to enlighten each other and to share our experiences. And that's what we're going to do. So keep it lovely. Keep it positive, And we appreciate you over at the Boom Boom Room. Uh, so I did just go ahead and find the outdoor range. It's about 30 minutes away from my crib. But they do allow you to come with the cameras and everything if you want to do your YouTube shit. So it's lit. Um, starting next week, we're going to start taking out the firearms to the outdoor range. And really letting y'all see them in action. Because a, a lot of comments on this channel have basically just been, man, like, can we see it in action? Can we see it in action? Y'all want to see the motherfuckers shoot. So I know my son's room is cute and all, you know what I'm saying, the boom, boom room, whatever, but we're going to get out to the outdoor range and really show y'all what we're working with, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, appreciate y'all sticking with me. For those that have been, you know, tuning into my videos for a while now, we're like maybe eight months strong every single month. I'm bringing you guys a new firearm, okay? So this one I've actually had for a couple months, and I'm just now making the video, and it's time to share with y'all. So booyah, there it is, y'all. There it is, y'all. Y'all see the sling? Y'all see the motherfucking Pro Mag? Um, what do you call it? Drum? It's the extra magazine holder. And voila! Can anybody tell me what this is? If you're unfamiliar, you've probably been living under a rock. If you're a gun enthusiast for the last two years, because these have been around, around for a while. Um, so what you're looking at now, guys, is the MCK. MCK stands for Micro Conversion Kit. Um, basically what this is, is a Glock 21. It's a 45 caliber Glock, and it slides right into this um, shell of a conversion kit. So this is not a firearm. This You do not need an FFL to, to order one or to get one shipped to you. Um, this is its own independent company. Um, I believe CAA is the company that makes these. And they do have a website that you can go on there and order it. Like I said, you don't have to have an FFL. Um, they'll ship it right to your house. There's no, there's nothing about this that is a firearm. It is just a strictly a shell in which you place your firearm in um, to then make it. It basically just turns that into this, okay? Um, and as you can see, I have the red dot built in. Um, I did purchase the entire kit from the um, MCK. So I have a flashlight built in, um, red dot at the top. Uh, one uh, one point sling here at the bottom and the pistol brace does fold and attach and it does give you just enough clearance to get in there on the trigger finger if you wanted to fire it with the brace folded me personally what's the point of having a brace if you're not going to use it right so i actually like to get that fully extended get it into the chest get your eyes on the target and right now i would be a dead man because my eyes are in the in the middle of my crosshair and i'm a good fucking shot um but yeah i mean this thing looks hellacious i mean what y'all think i think this shit looks crazy like intimidating i mean i don't know a lot of people that are familiar with these um so i mean if you just blew down on somebody or if somebody ran into my crib and if they saw this i mean i'm pretty sure they're gonna get to to, to flee in like asap they're not gonna want to stick around to see what type of damage this motherfucker can do um so as y'all can see i have thumb rests on both sides um, obviously I don't need them on this side, but I shoot my guns with a lot of other people. Like my brother, for example, he's ambidextrous, but he shoots like a lefty. So I don't know. I just threw them both on there in case he wants to try it out. But yeah, I mean, this is the MCK. This is the color I went with. It's like a burgundy. It's like a, like a Ron Burgundy type of, you know what I mean? Magenta, you know what I'm saying? Slight, not really red, not really. Um, well, I guess maroon, I guess is the right terminology, but, um, I actually bought this one from a gun show here in Columbus. When I went to the gun show, this had to be about maybe about six months ago. I had already been seeing the MCKs online. I knew I wanted one, 
Sure enough, I walk into the gun show and they got the table with the lady right there. I said, damn, she about to get me for my bread. So I went over there and bought a kit. You know what I'm saying? I spent, I think it was about $500. But like I said, that came with everything. The red dot, the conversion kit, um, both thumb rest, flashlight, sling. So I wanted to have all the accessories instead of just having the kit. I said, but the one thing I will admit is their accessories are pretty fucking, pretty fucking cheap. Pretty poorly made. Um, like this red dot, for example, it's supposed to have red and green. The green doesn't even work. The red is like bocce. It turns off sometimes. It's not a good red dot. Um, honestly, you're better off buying some shit off Amazon. Probably for like 50, 60, 70 bucks. It will probably be the same uh, as far as quality. Now, if you get into like the Sig Romeo 5, a lot of y'all have seen me talk about those on my channel. I have multiples. Those are blowing this out of the water. I probably should have just maybe stuck with the flip up sights from MCK and then went ahead with my own red dot because this thing got to go. This shit is not up to par. Um, and then I went ahead and thrown the uh, Pro Mag drum on there. It's a 45 round drum and it's a 45 caliber magazine. So I figured, I mean, to make it look so much more cooler, I might as well just throw the drum on there. Why not? You know what I'm saying? It just looks so crazy. Let me take the sling off real quick. Another thing that's cheaply made is this sling. It's just, it's just bullshit, honestly. It's, I mean, you know, it's there in case you want it, but I would just go ahead and just get the MCK and just do all your upgrades on your own because, you know, if you're not cheap, you're probably going to have a better outcome because they're giving you some cheap shit with the MCK. I'm just being honest. No no offense, MCK. I'm happy with my product, but y'all need to upgrade. Y'all need to upgrade y'all accessories. No cap. Um, so, yeah, this is just an extra magazine holder that they provide. And just this is a quick button, quick detach. I got uh, three of these magazines. These are the standard Glock issued 13 round mag for my 45. So it just snaps right in there. And this is just for looks. It doesn't do anything. You would have to eject your drum, then eject your magazine, and then insert your magazine in order to get a live round. Um, but it is there for, you know, aesthetics. And I guess it is there for, um, you know, um, utilization also, in case you ever needed to pop that second magazine in there. Most people probably don't have a 45 round drum on the bottom of their MCK or Glock 21. Maybe they do, I don't know. Um, I do, for sure. Um, so yeah, you guys see the flashlight on there will definitely blind the fuck out of you. It's got the strobe light. Like I said, my red dot is on right now. There's four different um, red dot options. There's a crosshair, red dot, reticle, and some more shit. So I mean, it's it's okay. I ain't gonna say it's complete trash, but you're better off buying a red dot off Amazon for 50 bucks. Um, and like I said, you can just squeeze your finger in there to uh, to get your finger on the trigger as far as shooting it folded. So. I don't know, man. You guys let me know what you think. I really, really like this setup. Um, I do have some footage from the range of me shooting this. I didn't have the drum with me that day, but I did have all my 13 round mags and I was just, I was just popping shit. I was just letting shit fly and this had no hiccups. I mean, it's a Glock obviously, so I wasn't really expecting it to have any hiccups. Um, just with the conversion kit, I don't, I don't know. I was just anxious to see how it ran, but this thing, I'm not going to lie. It's very, very um, reliable. I had no issues whatsoever, and not to mention, it's fun. It it is fun, straight up. Um, it'll 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 grab a lot of attention at the range and at the gun store if you happen to bring it in there. Um, when I first got my Glock, I just brought it in there just to make sure that it fit. And wow, I'll tell you, everybody in there was looking. Everybody was asking, like, man, what is that? Where'd you get that from? Blah blah blah. So I said, damn, I gotta go home and make a video about this ASAP. Motherfuckers been sleep on the MCK. So as y'all know, I got hella firearms. This ain't, it's not like this is just my go-to firearm, but I'll tell you what, after seeing how it performed at the range and just the simple fact that I got my red dot, flashlight, and hella rounds on here, for me, this this is suitable for self-defense. Um, so, I mean, I leave it by my bed. Sometimes at night, there's my kel on one side. On the other side is the MCK, the Glock 21 45. So, I do want to um, show it. I want to show y'all how to take it out real quick one time, just so y'all could kind of see the <clears throat> the shit in action. Um, let me go ahead and take this big ass drum out of here. Also take this magazine holder off of here. Just get down to the to the basics here. So there's a little lever on the bottom. You just press this button in, flip up your gate here, which is going to allow the gun to be pulled back. And all you do from there is just pull down on these two levers on each side boom boom you pull down and then you pull your firearm back and then down boom and there's the glock right out of the conversion kit 
They call this one the man stopper. If you guys never seen this Glock 21, 45 ACP, they call it the man stopper. A lot of, um, you know, officers, um, a lot of service police officers, they do carry these Glock 45s. Um, it's a very reliable weapon. Like I said, I had to wait fucking four months to get mine. So that should tell you something. Um, and it's just a bit, it's just a big motherfucker. I think this is actually the biggest Glock that they make, if I'm not mistaken, the 21, uh, the 45 ACP. So, I mean, just if you had that, I mean, damn, I mean, that'll do some damage right there. 45 rounds of the 45, but nah, we like the conversion kit. So now this is the tricky part, sliding it back in there. I almost never get it on the first try. Let's see. Okay. Cause it usually takes me about two or three tries to slide it back in because it has to be at the perfect exact angle or else this shit will not control your slide so let's see if i can get on the first try i seem like i feel like i almost never get it on the first try but i don't know we'll we'll see what happens so basically you just slide it on in there you want to push forward i don't think it's on there right i can tell by looking at it okay let's try again it's got to be sitting right in there just right push it forward Close the tailgate, lock it in place, and let's see. Nope. See how that's kind of stiff? It's not letting you pull that slide back easy. That means it's not in there right. So I'm going to press the button, open the tailgate, release the firearm, slide it back. See if we can get it in there one more time. It's definitely the tricky part, getting it in. Taking it out is easy. Getting it in is the tricky part, right? There we go, slide forward, close up the gate. It's not it, again, see how stiff that is? That's not it, anytime it's stiff like that, it should be moving the slide very freely, very smoothly. Um, so you know your angle is not, is not right. So I'll try it one more time, if I don't get it in there, probably just for the sake of the video and I feel pressure right now, I'm not, um, I'm not getting it in there right. But it does take a couple times. It does take a little bit of time to get familiar with this kind of thing. That's why usually once I get it in there, I don't even take it out. Because it's just a bitch to get it back in there the right way. Um, I don't think that's it. It's like you can tell by looking at it and then by listening to how it clicks into place. And then another thing about this conversion kit, guys, be ready to have some scratches on your Glock. No way around it. No way around it. Or whatever gun you're going to put in your conversion kit is going to get scratched up. This is just how it is. But worse things have happened, I guess, right? Mm, I don't think that's it either, guys. So, yeah, basically, it's a bitch. Um, it's not that hard. It's just you got to kind of really line it up right. Take your time. I mean, obviously, right now, I'm not taking my time. I'm trying to just jam it in there. And it's not going. Every time. I feel like that's almost it, almost, but like I said, it's still not moving free enough, so it's cool. Let me try one more time. I at least want to just show you all the, you know, the functionality of, you know, what, what it does. This is why I bought it, because I think it's pretty fucking cool. I think that might be it. Slide seems to be working pretty well. I think that's it, guys. So you lock it back in. I'm sweating in this motherfucker. Lock it back in. Slide. Oh, nope. That wasn't it. That wasn't it, guys. So I still don't have it locked into place correctly. So as you can see, the one downside is a little bit tricky to try to get your gun back in there. But no worries. I'm sure y'all figure it out just like I will. Um, so I just want to show it to y'all pretty much. That's all I got for today. Glock 21, 45 caliber MCK conversion kit. Come on, man. Y'all know what I'm on, man. I ain't going to waste y'all time and be buying no bullshit guns and showing y'all no bullshit guns. Hell nah. I spent like 550 bucks on that Glock and I spent like 500 bucks on this and I spent another hundred dollars on the, on the, on the drum. So really all in all, it's like $1,100, almost $1,200 setup. Some of my ARs are like $500, $600. So yeah, I mean, this definitely is not for everybody. It does serve a purpose, but if it's not for you, I understand. You know what I'm saying? Just stick to your regular handguns and, you know, leave the cool shit to niggas like me. You know what I'm saying? Because we going to have it. We having this shit. We trying all this shit. Bottom, bottom line is we having shit. So 
I appreciate y'all for fucking with me. Sorry I couldn't get the Glock back in there. I'm about to actually turn this video off and get it back in there for real now with full, full attention, full focus. Then I got to get back downstairs to my son and get back to being a dad. So I appreciate y'all for tapping in. You already know it's your boy J-Rock. Until next one, which is going to be next week, we at the Outdoor Range Live. We got a 5-7. I'm going to go ahead and spill the beans right now. We got a 5-7 <clears throat> lined up to show y'all and some other bangers. Like I said, you already know how we do it a Boom Boom Room. We ain't wasting y'all time posting no bullshit-ass guns y'all don't want to see. We are only fire only, you know what I'm saying? So tap in, like, comment, subscribe down below. What color MCK? What caliber MCK? Did you even know about the MCK? Did you learn something today from the kid? Anything and all feedback is all welcome, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, tap in with the boy, man. Until next time, peace and love. It's your boy, J-Rock. We out.